So this is the emperor empress position. Again, you see, I give it names that are have a spirit in it. You know, imagine you're an emperor, an empress, and you, you try to rule your kingdom like this. <laughs> so this this also is much more authority, much more. It's a st why? Because it's a stronger spirit. So when you have a stronger spirit, you have more also command on the people around you, I hope. <laughs> Depending how you do, what you do, other things. This is the, the first lower energy center, as I mentioned, that individuals start to practice. So I want you to experiment with it for a second. So I want you to sit straight and close your eyes and try to visualize a healing energy ball two inches below the navel in the center of the body. If your thoughts are still in your mind away from the visualization, don't worry about it, just loop it. Loop it back into the visualization. Very good. And then I want you now to do the same thing, try to empty your mind, but this time instead of using the visualization, use the breath. So close your eyes and breathe and use the breath to empty your mind. So anytime a thought comes into your brain, just lead it into the breath. Okay, and then slowly bring your mind back. So, I'm just for curiosity, since we're in a scientific place, how many people feel, and that was a quick, a quick uh, experiment, how many people feel that when you visualize, you can quiet the mind stronger than when you use the breath? And how many people that felt that when they use the breath, they can quiet the mind stronger than the visualization? So, how many feel the visualization is stronger for them to quiet the mind? Interesting, good. And then how many feel the breath? Yeah, I would say it's about 60-40 or 50-50. It was interesting. So, so you can see some people, it's the visualization that helps them. Some people is literally the breath and on and on. So if you go again into cwellness.com, it's the startup I started. It's free for all. If you go there and go to med mind, body, meditation, I give the introduction to what is meditation, how meditation is, which, which thing should fit you, so you, you can experiment. So there's, for example, the first meditation is you look at objects. So your eyes are open, you're looking at something. Another one, maybe you, 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 you're the type that will close their eyes and listen to sounds, music, uh, whatever, waves or classical or whatever. So some people, oh yeah, that's for me. Perfect. Then another one is uh, some people, they focus on counting numbers one in their head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, like that. Another person said, oh, I just need the breath. Some other people say, I can do the visualization right now and be in it for 30 minutes and achieve this more and more of this space. So as you can see from external objects, to chanting, to prayer, to silence, total silence, it, it gets harder and harder because the, eventually you sit in a cave or in a room with no sound and you put 30, 40 minutes and you just use your breath or you just use the visualization, that becomes very challenging because a lot of people, it's hard for them when it's really quiet and not a sound and now you have to sit with yourself and focus. So, so once you get to the breath and the visualization, it's more, I call it monastery style, more deep. One second. 
And then once you do more chanting, external means, and, uh, and other meanings, it's more for me, more external. So there's, you go deeper into internal and deeper external. It's not to say some days you can do that, some days you can do that. Yes? Does Coldplay write sex? You told me to shut my eyes and my stomach. I guess right like red. Yes. Like yes. Like yeah, big role. Yeah. So there are different people. If I ask, you'll see. Some people uh, see in different colors. Not only that, um, women see better the colors than the men. Uh, so if I have a room of men, they'll say, what colors? What, what energy ball? <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> what? Right? Women are more, and it's, and it's the yin-yang in our body. So because women are more yin and men are more yang, they're more closer to their energetic system, so they can able to sense it more. So what, what do you think uh, women intuition is? Uh, it's this ability to sense the energy and feel around better than the guy that just doesn't as much. It's not to say, my theory is that with each, each gender there's plus and minus, yin yang, and some men are on, the, on their line are more yang than some women that are more yin, so in some ways there's, correlate, there's a parallelation and correlation. So it, it gets a little more sophisticated because of the yin yang. But in general, yes, different people will see different colors, different colors mean different things. And, uh, and, and so there's a whole science to that as well, yeah. But that's when you go into the energetic system, when I said, so you learn more and more and more about that block, and then you become more and more familiar with it. So, yeah. F but, but the next thing in uh, the energetic system, for example, and that one I like to teach because it's very useful for people in Dana-Farber and people that uh, in Western uh, world society kind of, I feel, it's called the bubble visualization. The bubble visualization is almost like you put a shield around you that protects you from negative forces coming at you. And that happens a lot when you go through diagnosis and treatment. Uh, certain people really become annoying near you. And you need, but sometimes you're stuck with them or in an area with them. And, and you need to kind of shield them off. And you can't physically because you're with them. So you do the bubble visualization. So let's try that for a second. So what I want you to do is this. We're going to sit straight again, close your eyes, and this time instead of thinking in your body, think that there's a cocoon or a bubble about two, three inches away from your body. And, and you'll find out that some areas of the cocoon, they're not as strong as others. So what I want you to do is like, like take a spacula or your mind is like, and spread the strength around it so you'll have an even strength of visualization around you. Like the floor is a stronger feeling because it's real. If you can have all around you this strong, maybe like fog or myth or, or bob, whatever you want to visualize or uh, that is around you or an energy field. And then so close your eyes and try to move out of your body about two, three inches away from your skin and create a nice cocoon all around you. Very good. Then bring your mind back. So this is called the bubble visualization, or in Chinese it's called the guardian chi. So it's an energy that guards you from the external forces, negative forces, energies, but it's also a strainer that allows negative forces to leave your body.